Hey y'all, welcome to today's walkthrough. Today we're going to be playing through the photoelectric effect, the game. Now a little background about this photoelectric effect. It won Einstein his Nobel Prize. He didn't win it for E equals MC squared, as many people think. The photoelectric effect basically states that if you shine light above a certain frequency on a metal, it'll expel its electrons. Huh? Let's play the game to figure out a little bit more. Professor, thank goodness you're here. The reactor's about to blow, oh no! The only way to stop it, bombard it with light. So it releases electrons via the photoelectric effect, which will then neutralize the reaction. All right, makes sense. Click the mouse to use the blaster to beam light to the metal sheet. You press the M key to change the mode of the blaster. Find the mode that works best according to the photoelectric effect. Modes displayed above, got it, cool. When you reach 100%, you will have successfully stopped it. All right, got all that? No, because you never told me what the photoelectric effect is. Let's see if they give a little bit more information. Too bad. Oh, he just says too bad. All right. All right. He just says too bad. Leaves us to ourselves. All right. So we start out with a low frequency and a low amplitude. Let's fire a wave and see what happens. And nothing happened. Well, that must be because the frequency of the light is below the threshold frequency of the metal, which is the minimum hertz required to expel electrons from the metal. What happens if I change it to a higher amplitude with the same frequency? Nothing happens. And this clashes with classical physics. Classical physicists believe that if the amplitude increased, or basically the wave got brighter and shined on the metal for longer, eventually the waves would transfer enough energy to expel the electrons. But this is not the case. This birthed the notion that light can behave both as waves and as packets of light called photons. These particles of light known as photons have a certain amount of energy based on their frequency, which is summarized by Planck's equation. Planck's equation states that the energy of a photon equals the frequency of the light times Planck's constant, 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34. In this way, classical physics was set aside in favor of the wave-particle duality of light, a revolutionary concept that won Einstein his Nobel Prize. The only thing amplitude seems to affect is how fast electrons are expelled from the metal. Let's see. If I do high frequency and low amplitude, awesome, we got some movement. What if I do high and high? Oh, wow, they shot out. So it seems that at a high frequency, electrons will be expelled at the same rate. But with a higher amplitude, it'll generate a greater current because the electrons will be expelled at a greater rate. Armed with this knowledge, I will attempt this game. I'll see you tomorrow if I manage to save the world. But that's a pretty big if.